Kind of walked off with a little bit of a limp. Looks refreshed right now. He'll muster what he can here. Three-time world champion in freestyle. Also Olympic bronze medalist, so he's more experienced here in freestyle than he is in Greco. He's had two bronze medals in Greco-Roman, but he's been better in freestyle, and we'll see what he can do with it here in the final match to win the bronze medal. Gets the first point okay. by driving Berenizzi off of the mat. Only took about 15 seconds to get on the scoreboard. Red Dixon. Contrast in bills here by the wrestlers who weigh the same. One a little more squat. One got a bit more height. The height perhaps a leverage advantage. The squatness a power advantage. Biran Zizo was a junior world bronze medalist in 2010 and 2008 for Georgia. A lot of movement around in the uh, former Russian republics. They have a great deal of talent, and it's kind of a battle to see who's the best and who's living in the right place. And a little bit different world than we had back in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Okay. Still a 1 0 lead for Makov of Russia. Fingers open. Here, I off this holding position very well, I think, and now, but he's going to get 30 seconds. 30 put on the 30 second clock. See what type of offensive any he's able to generate against Makoff. Makoff controls the ties very well, just a real strong looking physical specimen at this weight class. and really showing a lot of endurance wrestling both styles. Oh, shot attempt there, but countered out by the Russian. He's had a little bit of time to recover. I believe the first Greco weight class was contested on Monday, so he's got a little bit of recovery time. Wrestling a lot of matches in a week. Paired well in the Greco, looking to match the same here in the freestyle. Makov of Russia drives through that double, but ineffectively. Back up on their feet. 30 seconds remaining in the first period. Makov with a 2-0 lead. Action. Not much happening. Wrestler's content to hang in a tied position. Now well, he drives him out of bounds to get his third point. 3 0 lead. Okay. Makov of Russia. And another caution. We're running out of time here in this period with 3 0 lead for Makov. And as he approaches his destiny here, perhaps to do something that isn't done very often, Jan Carlson of Sweden was the last to do it in 1973 when he won a bronze in freestyle and a silver in Greco-Roman. He also did the same thing at the Olympics, earning a silver in uh, freestyle and a bronze in Greco. Daniel Robin of Canada won two silvers in both styles in the 68 Olympic Games in Mexico City. And Wilfried Dietrich of Germany took a bronze in both freestyle and Greco in the 1962 World Championships. It's a hard thing to do. It hasn't been done for a long time. And Makov of Russia is very close, three minutes away perhaps, to match, matching that feat of some of the great ones great. in the history of our okay. sport. What even makes it more difficult is oftentimes it's not competed in the same location at the same time. So, same. It's the same week. Yeah. Three-0 lead for Makov of Russia. Would you, think, would you think he would become a little bit aggressive, or is he content to? Well, he's got two cautions on. You think that uh, you're an evil. Body lock. Yeah, has it. Let's see if he's got a big view here. Another. 
Good, point good. on the step out. Very similar pattern. A lot good of the good. points here scored the same way. Four times now, 4-0 lead for Markov okay, of Russia. Okay. Here needs uh, got to be a little bit concerned about whether he can stay in this match here just from the caution standpoint. I think it's red zone. Go ahead. Two on one by Makoff. Yep, there's the caution sign and the point. That will likely be confirmed. 5-0 lead now. Nope. Very one-sided match here as nope, no confirmation on the on the caution, just the point. Still two minutes remaining. Oh, nice little uh, two-on-one little slide by action right there. Already up to 7-0 lead now. Baranidze of Armenia unable to put much of a defense up here against Makov of Russia. He's now ahead 7 to nothing with it. Just over a minute and a half remaining in the match. Tight gut wrench. Yep. Now he'll bring him back the bring other him direction. Back. Yep. That'll be it. That'll be it. A minute and a half remaining, but the match will be over. Technical superior win for... Bilyal Makov of Russia, and he has etched his name into the history books. Medalist in both styles in the same world championships. Tremendous feat. He'll get a great round of applause from this. I will applaud him. Yeah. Now that is.